Hi, this is Jim, and I'm here with Maverick CNC. There, there are a couple of other things that need to be uh, addressed with every plasma cutting system, and one, probably one of the most important ones, or the most important one, is fume control. Um, so there are, there are two schools of thought on it, uh, uh, either a downdraft table or a water table. This is a water table. So what, water, what the water does when you're cutting is it the, the actual fumes and the particles of steel that we're melting and blowing away end up blasted down into the water table. As soon as those hot particles, red hot particles of steel hit the water, they cool. Uh, and when they cool, they get heavier and they sink down to the bottom of the water. Uh, with a downdraft table, um, uh, a little bit different process. You actually have a blower that blows the air outside or into a welding fume filtration unit. Uh, and the blower creates a vacuum underneath the table. The velocity of the gas drags those particles and cools them as it, as it either gets blown outside in the form of smoke and some particulate matter. So both are, are very good processes. They both, they each have advantages and disadvantages. Definitely need either a water table or a downdraft table with a plasma cutter. We'd fill this shop up with smoke very quickly if, uh, if that wasn't handled. Um, some of the other things that, we're, that everyone's concerned about with uh, plasma cutting too is the operating cost. Uh, many people look at it, I just spent three or $4,000 for a plasma cutter and, and $40,000 for a CNC cutting table, and how much is it gonna cost me to run this thing? Well, that's one of the advantages of an air plasma cutting system is the consumables uh, with the new technology we have today last a long time, especially with the Hypertherm PowerMax series systems. Uh, I, I actually worked for Hypertherm for many years, uh, and the early air plasma systems that were developed by Hypertherm had a nozzle and electrode that would last maybe 100 starts. That means 100 pierces, and you had to change the nozzle and the electrode. Uh, quite, it's very common today to, to experience 1,200, 1,700, 1,800 starts. And if you're cutting 3 8 inch steel or half inch steel, that equates to about one cent per foot of cut on half inch steel. That's a really low cost way to cut steel. Uh, that's just the consumable cost. You do have to add in other things like the air cost adds a, as a small fraction of a, of a penny to that cost and, uh, and maybe secondary operations. If you have to do a little bit of grinding on your cut, things like that, that adds to the cutting cost as well. But it's a very low cost process, very efficient way to cut steel, stainless steel and aluminum and some other materials.